receive their grenades in a very tight embrace of steel and fire. Oh, another one of my cavalry's got hit. Firing by a unit in this game also lowers cohesion, so you see he's very tired. This unit is very tired because they've been firing a lot, and this actually lowers the accuracy of your muskets by a lot. So your first volley is always the most effective one, and you have to be very careful at what time you shoot. Since the AI doesn't do, doesn't know how to do it, that's one of the reasons I gave the AI two times more troops. Uh, now this is a cavalry assault from the AI, which is charging my battalions in columns, which actually represents some focus of squares because Konitz is a Konitz decided to get rid of squares because the instant square broke meant, basically meant that cavalry was useless. I was actually quite worried because I spotted this quite late. But their cavalry is already wavering because they have very very low cohesion after coming out of a forest. And now they have to face my deep column of grenadiers. Anyway, in the meantime, my assaults, which are now with low cohesion, managed to completely destroy the three pounder battery, taking away a. Oh no, not yet, sorry. <laughs> I'm still reforming them here because I saw this group of assaults coming for them. And I don't want to be engaged while they charge my flanks because that would be bad for my assaults. And I completely blunder this. Uh, do you see the cavalry charge my column but got some fire? They lost quite some men. And now they are routing basically. And I completely missed this cavalry charge of Gracias on my Grenzes. And basically my Grenzes just ran away together with the cavalry because it was exhausted or oh, with very little cohesion. This was what I meant earlier about my friends as being ineffective, probably because I don't know how to use them. Anyway, my two battalions of line infantry are here waiting. And in the meantime, I order my hussars to counter charge. But you see, since they were very tired, they started to be shaken. Now they are confident because they managed to stabilize. And now I'm sending one unit of my Gracias to charge their missiles so as to route them and I think they actually arrived before my Ozaz break a quick overview of the battlefield in the bird's eye view so you get my two grenade battalions one of them which was attacked by cavalry earlier and didn't lose a single guy and two battalions of line infantry are starting to converge in order to face this threat by the Prussians. I'm playing Austria by the way, I think I forgot to mention it, but well you can see by the flag. Anyway, my cannons keep doing a number on their guys and their reserves are basically broken even before my grassy has got there. I think I suck at this kind of videos because I keep flying everywhere and miss all the action. <laughs> And sorry, these grenades were not the ones that would charge my cavalry. These were the ones charged my cavalry. I think. Yeah, these were the ones. And there they go. You see that grassy has took a lot of casualties. You, units in this mod are also scaled 4 to 1, so you have to take every model soldier that is killed. It actually f represents four soldiers in or would represent in real life. Uh, here you see a charge of my Gracias to the exhausted Grenadiers, one for each. And well, I managed to basically rot this attempt at my flank here, which is rather important. And my Osas meanwhile are resting. They did well. Oh no, they are not. Since I saw this the Gracias coming. One one thing you have to pay much attention, you can't allow your cavalry to have too much free reign. Because if you do, well basically they'll get slaughtered pretty fast. 
because uh, they get they they lose that cohesion extremely quickly. Cavalry in this game lose cohesion extremely quickly, and as you see, this unit of Curacias was approaching. So if I was trying to route these grenadiers here, they will come back eventually. If I was trying to route those grenadiers, their Curacias would probably well kill my heavy cavalry, and I don't want that. Even two units against one. It would be enough. My Hungarian Usas probably started to rout as soon as they saw their cavalry approaching. Which is quite realistic for light cavalry to do if they see armored dudes on horses. Ah, my Grenzas came back. Don't worry, it's not for long. <laughs> anyway, I still keep deploying my left flank in order to try and gain some protection. You can see my lines starting to form you. One lovely thing about this mod is that the, it's the chaoticness of the battlefield. You can never have a straight line, even if you try. As soon as battle starts, you keep having to readjust, and your initial deployment is so important because of the scale of the game that every readjustment is so costly. That's why it's important to have a reserve. Due to some miscalculation on my part, because I never thought that my AI buddy would be murdered so near this part of the battlefield, I thought you would be able to advance a bit further. My reserves are basically serving as my left flank, which is not very good. Anyway, I'll turn this around. Meanwhile, my cannons are... This is actually a nice view. Well, apparently they're flying to nowhere, because you have to always keep adjusting your cannons and, well, sometimes I forget. Now, it's important to mention that uh, my units have uh, fire at will usually off and as I was watching some other part of the battlefield I again forgot about my grenzes and when I noticed where they were it was a bit too late and they were wanted for good. Now, I deployed this 6 pounder here very near to the front so I could pour some very close range support for my infantry to try and counter their numerical support the AI numerical superiority. I'm reorganizing my cavalry over here and bringing my grasses over there so as to give space for my infantry to move forward. Ah, fire, see? These guys come from the forest doing some firing and well, they didn't hit anyone basically. These grenades were all killed by the cavalry. And another. Ah, yes. This unit of line was routed with 9 casualties. Which, obviously. Wow, nice shot. Which is obviously multiplied by 4.